Hey, gorgeouses. Brad Bryce checking in with you guys only after, say, a couple of oh, months, forever and a day since I've last talked to you guys. How's everybody doing? I'm so sorry to keep you guys waiting for this. It's really not fair to you guys. I really need to be a little bit better about posting up videos. Um, but just to catch you guys up to speed and everything, again, I apologize. I last, I last left you guys off when I was taking lauric acid. Um, to conclude with that, it wasn't working for me. By the end of it, I was taking so much lauric acid, I was getting stomach upset and everything, and I still didn't wasn't getting the results that I was expecting. My viral load was still at 37,000. My CD4s were still low and everything. It just, I don't think it was working, so um, I've decided to start taking medications. Um, the dreaded HIV cocktails, as everybody calls it. So thank God, though, my virus um, is not immune to anything. My virus is one of the weaker HIV viruses. And you're like, wait, what the fuck? Weaker HIV viruses? Um, there are more than, at least to my understanding, there's a, at least 14 different strands of the HIV virus or HIV. I don't even know why I say HIV virus. It sounds a little, I don't know, redundant. But anyways... There are more than 14 different strands. I mean, it's kind of funny if you think about it. I mean, oh, you've been diagnosed with HIV again. What? I've already gone through this six times. What the hell? I mean, I don't know how it works, but it just, there's more than, there's about 14 different strands, which is quite interesting if you think about it. So my particular strand is not immune to anything. So I've started what is called a tripla. And the fun thing about these medication, this medication, you guys, it's a one pill, three different med combo. Now... There's different types of HIV medications, and I actually want to start posting videos where it actually teaches you about the mechanics behind the HIV and what the medications do. And so basically what happens is that makes the virus a virus is that it makes itself part of your DNA, basically the blueprints for your CD4s. It latches onto those suckers. And what happens is, is the HIV medications basically block the HIV from attacking these um, CD4 cells, and they make it impossible for the virus to latch on and replicate itself. Now, um, my pill, these pills are ginormous. I mean, look at that. It's like the freaking size of my eyeball right there. Holy shit. And it says one, two, three on it. Oh my God. It's crazy. It's like one, two, three. It's as easy as that, you know? And so I just started this last night. Hopefully this will work. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I finally found a doctor that's amazing. I'm currently being seen at Scripps, and you guys have known my hassle and facile with little UCSD. No thank you on that. I do not like being treated like a number. I am a patient, you know. So um, now that I've gotten that all squared away, I feel really secure in knowing that I've made the right decision and start medications. And that's probably the biggest important thing when you're when an HIV patient decides to start taking medications. It's just you need to make sure you have a doctor you feel comfortable with, you make sure that your body is ready to do it, and you make sure that you personally can handle taking it. Because once you start and dedicate yourself to these medications, you have to make sure you stick with it, taking them on a regular basis, and that you take them at the same time, relatively at the same time, every single day. Now, they do have side effects. Mine, for example, can affect your liver, can affect your kidneys, it plays with your mind, which is, from what I've experienced last night, not really the funnest of things. So, I'm the kind of person where I can't take any type of sleeping aids because I will be so drowsy sleepy that I will not sleep, like a nice, good, deep sleep. I will not get reached that level of sleep. Instead, I'll just stay light-headed. Like, just, like, tossing and turning all night. My neck hurts. My back hurts and everything. Next thing I know, I got to wake up and go to work or school, whatever the fuck it is. And I'm a raging, raging thunder cunt the whole day. And it's just, that's not pretty. I don't want to deal like that. So, um, <laughs> that's what I experienced today. <laughs> I woke up like a dizzy little bitch. And I couldn't really function that well. And I'm hoping that the side effect, it's one of the side effects with a tripla. It's one of the medications in it, the Efavirenz or whatever this one is, the one that says 600 milligrams on it. I don't know if you can read that front one right there, that one. So um, hopefully these side effects won't last too long. Um, from what I understand, HIV patients only experience these for the first couple of weeks, and then they're all fine and everything. And like I said, you take one of these pills at night, and that's it. Boom, there's my HIV regimen. I mean, I'm still eating healthy. I exercise and all that good stuff. I mean, I'm a otherwise healthy, 
male that just goes about his own regular business. So, um, I've had a couple of questions though, which sort of piqued my interest because <laughs> you guys know me. I love ignorance. Ignorance is one of my favorite things in the world because people are so retarded. Okay. Now, one of them is like, have you ever had sex after your HIV diagnosis? Nope. I'm completely celibate. I don't do any, nope. Just, God, I, I just basically crawl up into a hole and die. Uh, check please? No. I don't think so. Um, I've had plenty of sex, and contrary to what some of you might believe, uh, yes, I'm still a raging homo, and I have crazy, crazy gay butt sex. Mm-hmm. And that's not going to change. Why? Because um, if you think HIV is a gay disease, please pick up a book. You will be surprised at what you will learn. I mean, you know, when you meet people, and no matter what disease they are, what gender they are, what color their skin is, like, you have to take them for who they are. I mean, if they do fit a stereotype, then... Wow, good for them. That sucks. But otherwise, for the most part, you'll be surprised about how humble and nice people still are in this world. It's pretty great. So, yeah. I just want to check in with you guys, just let you guys know everything's going great. And just give you guys an update on where I am with my HIV. And that I'm still alive, kicking, and well. I will try and make this a little bit more regular as far as updating you guys um, on a regular basis. Um, yep. Yeah. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Of course, comments, questions, all that good stuff, just email it to me, you know, the whole shebang. Bye.